The first of our finals about to get underway then here in Pembrey for the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. Up next it is going to be the Suzuki Swifts that make their way down towards the first corner. Who is going to get the advantage as we get ready for the lights to go green then here. The green lights are on and we are away. It's Luke Constantine then who gets the advantage as they come down towards that first corner. James Constantine in there as well as Don McLeod. Not too far away as they come through in towards the right-hander and it looks like it's uh, Don McLeod then who's got himself up into second position so brilliant stuff there so Luke Constantine in the number six in the pink machine leads the way as they come through the right hander then the left then the right again and then into the hairpin bend we go so a good start there from Luke Constantine and James Constantine well he tried his best didn't he but Don McLeod I think got an absolute stonker of a start on that front row of the grid down into wars, the uh, hairpin bend. We're about to go for the first time, and you can see the Suzuki Swifts really, really on the ragged edge as uh, Constantine is able to just pull out a fantastic advantage as he comes towards the end of the first lap here, then at Pembrey for the Suzuki Swifts final. So into the hairpin we go. And it is Luke Constantine that has the advantage over the rest of the field. Jokers, of course, are going to uh, be a very interesting affair then for these drivers. Let's see what is going to happen as we come through in towards the second section. So uh, Don McLeod it is that uh, is sitting there in uh, third position, I believe, in this race now ahead of uh, behind James Constantine. So Constantine brothers in first and second place now then in the Suzuki Swift final. Closely followed by the number 23 of Max Weatherly. Max, of course, proving to be very fast in the uh, Swifts back at uh, Lyndon Hill for the first round. And Luke Constantine, of course, has performed very well so far here today. So it's no surprise to see him up the sharp end of the grid. A podium in the first race and then winning the second and the third races, or heats, I should say, for the third round and performing very well indeed out there on track ahead of brother James so far. So through into the left-hander, these drivers go into that hairpin bend of Carters and then down the back straight they are once more. So uh, then it's uh, the number 88. That of course is David Watt who sits in fourth position as it stands then in this race. So it's Luke Constantine from James Constantine from number 23 of uh, Max Weatherly. And then it's uh, Watt, then James Chisman down in fifth position. Chisman having had a really good run of things so far here today in the Suzuki Swift, sitting in second place overall, but not quite having the pace here in the Suzuki Swift final. Let's see whether he's going to be able to turn things around. Six laps to remind you here of this race. And it's still Luke Constantine that has the advantage over the rest of the field here so far. But of course he hasn't made that crucial joker lap as it stands. Unlike Max Weatherly who did joker on the first lap and likewise James Chisman as well. New entry into uh, this weekend in the Suzuki Swift is Anto Pitkinen, the Finnish driver. She's actually a Finnish stunt driver and I believe has just finished uh, filming off the set of Batman, believe it or not. So uh, an interesting addition to our grid and we welcome her with open arms. Great to have some uh, new names in the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship. But it is the old guard then of uh, Luke Constantine that leads the way so far at the start then of lap number four from then Max Weatherly and now James Constantine has lost out to Weatherly. So it's Weatherly now who sits in at second position as they come through into the left-hander. So Constantine having joker then on that last lap does lose out to second position. And now you wonder whether Max Weatherly is going to be able to put the pressure on to Luke Constantine as they come down in towards the hairpin bend of Brooklands once more. Just looking at the lap times then between uh, Luke Constantine and uh, in fact I think Luke Constantine might have jokered in fact last time around. Yeah indeed he did. So the race leader has jokered then already because his lap time was in the 52 second margin. And now it's back into the 49 seconds. So it is now a battle for position out on track on the penultimate lap. So it's Luke Constantine from Max Weatherly, from James Constantine, from James Chisman as it sits at the penultimate lap. And 
Well, Max Weatherly is certainly doing a fantastic job of closing that gap down to Luke Constantine, but let's see whether he is going to be able to find his way through. Here then is James in the number eight. The second of the Constantines out on track in the Suzuki Swifts. And no such luck for him to be able to challenge for the win. Certainly going to finish on the podium if it finishes as it is, but there's still plenty of the race to be able to run. And as we know in Rallycross, anything can happen and it usually does as well so over the timeline we go we're ready to start the final lap then here in the Suzuki Swift final and it's a straight up battle between Luke Constantine and Max Weatherly the gap down to under half a second as they came over the timing line last time around going for the joker then it goes Max Weatherly so he hadn't made his joker on the first lap just had a very slow first lap in the race and now he goes joker then so he does move out but look at how close it is on the emergence between himself and James Constantine in that battle for second place so it's now Luke Constantine that has the advantage and did James Constantine get the better of Max Weatherly no he did not so out of the hairpin they go down the speedway straight and in towards Brooklands for the final time it's advantage to the number 23 of Max Weatherly as they come down in towards the hairpin bend so Luke Constantine is going to take the chequered flag and finish up a very impressive day in round three of the Five Nations British Rallycross Championship ahead of Max Weatherly ahead of James Constantine